Hello and welcome back to Revive and Prosper. In our last episode, we continued this uh, this new settlement on the Pipes map and have just started getting toward the smelting of copper. We actually have quite a bit in here, though. Uh, we're making um, four per batch, but we also may have run out of uh, copper, mined copper, so we're going to probably have to bring some more of that over here. It looks like they're bringing over... Oh, they're bringing over stuff for the for the for the power, of course. Uh, and we need to get this connected up to an automatic miner, like we did here with the coal and iron. Although the coal is just now getting started again because the because um, uh, we had to move it because the, it wasn't automatically outputting into the machine directly. You had to have at least one piece of belt, and we had it positioned in a bad way. So it just got finished. The belt just got finished, and the miner is just like dumped all of its contents onto the belt and we're going now but we also have probably power issues here in this network where we're not producing enough power yeah which is why we're building more of this uh, as we can um, and i like how by the way when you switch to the power tab it does highlight in green everything in the power network so you know what you're talking about and what you're not talking about uh, we need just a little bit more wood i also canceled all those auto harvest jobs on wood although uh the developer reached out to me on YouTube on the last video and said that he's actually put in a fix uh, that's coming soon to the game to to disallow all that or to control that a little better so they don't obsess about one thing, maybe. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the fix, fix will entail, um, but we need to um, harvest these trees that died uh, because they were in the drought zone too long. And we're probably going to end up with a few more in that line. Although, the more it rains, the better off we are, I assume. Uh, but either way, we need to harvest those. We'll replant them if, it, if we can get it to be green consistently. But until it stays green, I'm not going to do it. We're also working on building out this dam, which actually might be ready for the next level. It looks like it is. So let's get that started. Uh, we need... Do, do, do... Some more of those and we need to probably start moving these fishing huts out of there but as long as they're still being used i'm i'm really not uh in a hurry to move them but we probably will need to um extend out our little platform here another level once this gets up to that next level uh, we'll see how that goes Okay, that got built. That means we can probably work on some more power here. Uh, this is actually producing enough torque now. It's about, it's actually uh, just under one full windmill of excess power, but uh, actually we're in the low end right now. The low part of the curve. Wait, is that right? That can't be right. Because it says it's producing 80, but we're at the low end. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but we are mining this stuff. We probably need to set up a miner for uh, for coal here to go toward copper smelting. And then we're also going to need to get copper smelting going as well. But I think we can uh, automate it, that is. But I think we can go ahead and dig a little bit more. We can also tell them to, um, to store this. And they should just store it there, uh, I think. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We do have seven copper ingots, though. And so we can use those for... Um, well, whatever. Uh, copper pipes, among other things, I guess. Although we have made all of the copper pipes. No, we're making the copper pipes. Unclear. I did set a fixed amount of steel, but it's not there. Oh, a storage count, not fixed amount. That's my problem. 10 of this, uh, 10 of those. Um, maybe we can make some metal sheets too, since they take iron, copper, wire. Why don't we do 10 of the ones? Just do 10 of all these things. Uh, not necessarily the last three, but 10 of those uh, intermediate ones anyway. And we're making copper pipes right now? Cool. And now we're making steel. And steel does produce slag, by the way. So you're probably going to have to keep an eye on that and see what they end up doing with it. I don't know what that is going to end up looking like, but we'll have to see. And trees grew here wild. Uh, so we could probably just chop those also. Just to kind of get them cleared out of here, maybe. Although they're not fully grown yet, but also, eh. 
Or maybe some of them were natural, but some of them were wild. Yeah, some more of these trees over here have died, too. Okay, well, we need the wood either way, so that's fine. And it looks like we've pumped a little bit more water into this little channel we've got here, which means that that stays green for longer. Uh, what's that? Limestone. How did limestone get way over there? Weird. Okay, sure. Maybe somebody was running around with it in their backpack? I don't know. Bunch of carrots laying around. Didn't we build storage for carrots? We did. They're just not storing them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what do we need to work on? Water and barrels and cabbage soup. Uh, we should be making cabbage soup. Uh, at least among other things. Um, and hopefully they'll at least on occasion deliver it to there. They have delivered three, but that was early on they delivered those three. So hopefully they'll come back and deliver some more there. You're delivering. Oh, you're making copper pipes. Oh, good. And then we can also work on copper pipes over here. Right. Because we set these up and then didn't need them. I would like to rotate this to be this way. Um, and then let's build copper pipe and uh, straight pipe. Sure. And then I want it elbow uh, horizontal. Like that. And then we'll do a... Oh, we, there's an across? Interesting. Okay, well then this one, never mind. Uh, let's make that a T instead. I'm surprised there's not a cross. Um, I would I would actually like to see a cross as well as a six-way. That would be kind of neat to have. Uh, where the pipe can go up, to, up or down as well as left, right, forward, and backward, for lack of any better descriptions. But definitely a, a four-way cross would be really nice to have there. Uh, let's do a horizontal T. Please, thank you there and then we'll have to do another one like this and then we can do another horizontal curve here and then I'll do another um actually I'll do another horizontal T here excuse me thank you nope, th thank thank you that way in case we want to add more over here we can we can connect those in and that'll give us a little bit more water for irrigation I suppose we can make the barrels we need, too. Uh, let's just set it for 10 again. That way it's like a story because it's set for storage count, so set it for 10 again. Uh, they are delivering wood here, and it's actually full. Um, so actually, we're good on the wood front. So we don't have a regular wood... I guess we could build a regular wood storage. Those are... Uh, here. Put that right there. And that takes wood to build. And somebody's already coming to build it, of course. Okay, so copper. And we need coal. So let's build one another one of these things. Actually, no, before we do that, let's build a couple more windmills here. And of course, the torque rods needed for them. Be nice if when you're building windmills you could hit a button. Oh, I guess you can hit that button to get back to this. Hit that, get back to there. That's not bad. Never mind. Well, mostly never mind. Uh, that there, that there. This can go here, there, there, there. Get all those built out. That'll give us a little more power here, and then we can work on the uh, mining thingy, uh, which is this one. And I think I will put it right there. And I definitely want to have this thing set to filter only for coal output. There's a lot of soil uh, that's underneath it. So I definitely want it to just be filtered for coal. And I actually wanted to take a look and see if there is a... It doesn't say. Uh, if there's a, a way to... If, if it's storing up the soil that's underneath it as well. Or if it's just like giving up on it. Because uh, we're eventually going to probably want to mine soil as well to have access for for this, as well as uh, making the dam components, I think. Yeah. So, we'll want to have that eventually, but for now. Eh. And then they're, they're working on the dam a little bit more. 
which means the water level is going to rise a little bit more, and this will be the bottom of the uh, everything. And we'll flood all of that a little bit higher, which means that this will get a little bit higher as well. But I definitely don't want to go any higher than this level, because this is where these are. So we're about a block and a half down from there, and that's where I'm planning on going here, so that's good. Although I might have needed more, or might have wanted to put in more floodgates rather than all the dams. Uh, you know what? Let's actually cancel these and just put in two height floodgates here. That way I can control a little bit more of the thing. Uh, floodgate. Two. Plus, these just have planks and woods, whereas the dam components need dam components, so... That might be a little bit better. And then the last one, let's just put in a single, I guess. Uh, you're at 25, so I'll put these at uh, 15. Oh, they, they are. Oh, they, do they lock to the same height as what's next to them automatically when you build them? That's nice. It's kind of similar to what it is in... Uh, yeah, that one did too at 5. Interesting. Uh, what it is in um, Timberborn, where you have the... Uh, the floodgates are all linked together. So when you control one, you control all. Uh, this doesn't seem to have that functionality, but, at least not yet, but it does at least seem to default them to the adjacent height, which is, which is nice. Saves a little bit. And they are storing a bit of that wood up. There's a lot of work to do, so I'm not surprised that it's taking them a little bit of extra time. Uh, let's go with belt, wooden belt, here. Let's go this way. Can I put it there? No. Oh, gone. Can I put in a single platform there? No. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit wonky. Okay, in that case, can I rotate this before you build it? Or do I need to just delete it? Just delete it. We'll go this way a bit. And then we'll go this way, and then we'll go that way, and then we'll go this way. I could have just done that there, but either way, it doesn't matter. And then we need also one of these things over here, but we also will need probably a little bit more power over here. So I want to set that up as well. And I think I'll just go ahead and link these together, but put them up here on the elevation. And I might as well just kind of build a power train over that direction while I'm building them because, well, might as well. Uh, we'll have to figure this part out, though, a little bit with the torque rods. Uh, vertical first, I guess. Uh, that one, this one, and that one. And then these are going to have to go across like this. And then I'm thinking that I'm going to need a vertical one right here like that. I guess I'm thinking correctly. Although, maybe not. Uh, cancel that one and this one. Just for a moment. Can I get away with putting one in... Down there? I can. That'll save me one torque rod. Uh, which is good, I guess. And then I have a little bit more room where I can put some more up here. And then we can follow that up with another torque digging wheel. Uh, I'd like it right there. And just for uh, fun, I'm going to put it a set of copper. Just in case. And then we can do uh, a couple things here. Um, one of those will be to have a belt ramp down there, which I'm hoping will work. Uh, we'll also need to have torque rods. I don't know why I have a hard time finding them. Can I do it like, oh, I can. Bet you I can. We'll see if I can't, but uh, we'll have torque rods there. It looks like it's linked up with that. We'll see if it actually is or not. And then we might also need uh, a stairway or a ramp to get up there. I don't think we will, but it also probably couldn't hurt to put a stairway there. So I'm just going to do a wooden stairway, um, maybe like here, just so that we can get up to that level if we need to, for some reason. Wow, they've really been busting on it. Okay. How's the power look on this grid? Uh, lots of extra torque, but that's to accommodate later. Um, oh, this is on that network, though. Oh, right. Should I link those together? That'll be a little bit of work, um, but I think it might be worth it. Although, 
As far as I could tell, though, you could only link them here at these points. So, getting a torque connection all the way there is kind of a pain. But it might be worth it. For later. Just to have all of this mining and smelting being on the same torque network. So it might be worth just doing this anyway, just in case. Yeah, they're building this some down here, so it doesn't really matter. I need some coal. Why is this not outputting any coal? Uh, because it's only collected soil? Yeah, so it's holding soil in its... inner whatever, because it's digging back here. Right. So maybe it doesn't dig on the front bit. I bet you it doesn't. So aligning this one this way means that it'll never actually see any soil. Whereas aligning it the way we did here with this this hanging out over the soil a little bit on the side means that it's going to always be digging up some soil. Which means... I wonder if they'll take the soil out of there uh, for when they need soil for things. Uh, that'll be an interesting thing to see. Oh, good, look. Making some damn progress over here. Let's build... Build fishing spots. Let's see if we can put one here now, and see if it admits that there's fish there now. Because it's a little bit higher, a little bit closer. Or if it does by the time these, these uh, uh, floodgates are fixed. Finished. Fixed or finished. And we probably are going to want a bit more power here, too. Oh yeah, we need a bit more there. Because, yeah. We're producing 53 power between those six windmills. Yep. Uh, harvest this tree. And then let's go ahead and stage a bunch of those out as well. If I can remember what I'm doing. There we are. Yeah, the willow's in the way. Wait a minute. Did I not connect these all the way? I did not. How did I manage to do that? Invalid placement. Oh, there. Okay. There we are. How did I manage to do that, or not do that, as the case may be? Weird. Be nice to have a hotkey here. Which isn't alt. And that's to remove. Oh, interesting. Be nice to have a hotkey here to switch between these two. Um, control R. That would be more useful if I was on this. Alt to change between layers. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, being able to toggle between the two types of torque rods and other menus with the same type of uh, setup would be kind of nice to have. Yeah, let's get these done first. Top priority, please. Since they're not actually doing anything right now. They're just kind of spinning in their own... Yeah, see? They're not actually doing anything right now. Okay. But top priority means that somebody will come over and build them as soon as reasonable. Yeah, one of the golems is going to do the one. The other one's not marked yet, but that's okay. This rod's being worked on now. That's good. And we've run out of power. Because the wind stopped blowing. And it's all connected here, which means that it's not going to work right. Perfect. Just what I wanted to see. But we did get a little coal out of this, at least, so that's good. In addition to the soil. Although, it looks like they might have come and cleaned the soil. Because there's only three in there, so... Maybe they've come and gotten it for the golem maker or something. Although, it's empty, so maybe not. Alright, so this should be all one power network now. 
It's not helping yet because there's hardly any wind right now, but one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Uh, why don't we do another windmill here, fitting the pattern. And then let's do torque rod, vertical one there. And I'm purposely not connecting them across because I want them to be able to walk in there if there's an issue with them walking. Although it doesn't seem like there is, but I don't know. Reasons, I guess. You got lots of planks. Lots and lots of iron. Holy crap. I mean, I'm dumping it into a box here, so that makes logical sense. But still, lots and lots of iron. Storage is full. Yeah. And, uh... Production selected at the workshop. That's because you made all the things that I wanted. Uh, the next task we need to do is get the water going over here. Uh, also get that cabbage soup going. Maybe I should make another one of these fires. And dedicate it to just cabbage soup making. Main. Endlessly make, or well, make a storage count of cabbage soup of 20. And only cabbage soup. Soup, soup, and more soup. So the developer is also trying to tell me in the comments what the water height thing means. And it seems to mean something about how high the pump or the device or the whatever can pump the water up, but it also might mean how much it's having to pump the water up. Um, it looks like that might be more the case. Uh, oh, this one says 11. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a little bit still not understanding how that's working, how, what that means. Um, if I look at flow pump, it doesn't say what its water height is. Like, as part of the construction thing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Are you all working? Power. We need... Oh, wait. Oh, they're not connected to the torque rods. Of course, because they're not directly connected to each other. We need to fix that, too. Uh, let's do... Let's see. They all need to be connected. Are they connecting by corners here? They might be. Let's find out if I can do... I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to do this connect those two directly there. So let's do if we let's see if we can just do this. Connect those ones. Although they may only be they're only connecting on the front corners. Okay, and the inside corners here. So I'm going to need to do something like that. And then a bunch of horizontals here. Yeah, it looks like there's only connection points on the front two corners, not on the outside two corners, which makes logical sense. I'll be fair. So these these are all connecting together because they're touching on the front edges. And then these two are connected together like that because they're not touching on the front edges. And also there's not an edge to it all the way to the edge of the, the block either. So that makes some sense. Are you delivering the wood here? Probably from some local stuff that was chopped down over here and laying on the ground still? Great. What are you doing now, power-wise? You've got plenty of torque. Okay. And you need to get through smelting this. Let's do top priority on that to get rid of that copper sitting there. And in the meantime, I will start running a belt. I should have run the belt to this one here. Oh, that was dumb, Wally. Oh, that's right. We can turn it. I should have moved it over by one block, though. Uh, let's do that. And then I think I'm just going to ramp up to it as opposed to trying to do floating platforms the whole way. So let's do a belt up to here. And then a bunch of flat belts like this. That'll make it backwards. I don't want to do that. This way and then that way. And that'll feed it right into the side just like that. 
Although I do want them to get that cleaned up. As soon as we can get this smelted. And then let's also do... Actually, let me cancel this one belt right here. Just because I don't want it feeding in until we can get rid of what we've got. Uh, and then let's do a belt out. As we've learned we need to have. And then we'll do an automated storage. Probably like that. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. The only one that matters really is the output. And let's do this uh, urgent priority and this one as well. That way it gets emptied out and they can actually make some progress there. Are you gathering up some more soil? You are. Which is understandable and fine. Okay. They are at least fishing there now so we can delete these. Probably have a storage for sliced sliced fish. Maybe we could use this for that. I think we can. Fish and barrel. Ooh. Sliced fish. And then we can do uh, a couple more fishing posts here. We'll start with three and see how that goes. What else do we have here? Fishing spot. Working area. What does working area mean? I don't know what working area means. Golden factory we know. Benches, we should probably do some of those. Fireplace. Beds. Are we ready to do cauldrons yet? I think we are. Let's make a cauldron. Holy crap, that's a big thing. Oh, and it can be automated. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, maybe we won't do it yet. Ah, let's build one, just see what it looks like. But we probably won't use it unless, well, it can be manually used. Uh, just to see what it does. And how are you doing on the uh, cabbage soup there? You're making it. Okay. Hopefully they will uh, deliver the cabbage soup then. Let's make this an urgent priority so they deliver it faster. And those barrels, are they getting delivered? They are getting, getting delivered here. Uh, so we need power over here. We need water pumping over here. Uh, all the things. You're getting 96 torque out of this network now. Or you can get 100, but you go in units of... Yeah. You see the water appearing in the barrel just for a little bit. And then it's gone. Although that is full now. Um, I don't know if it's still going to output any. Because it's open to the output. And whether it's dribbling out the end here, uh, on occasion. No production is locked at end of cauldron. So it is overflowing that. It's a little unclear as to whether it's coming out of there or not, but that's okay. And cauldron um, makes one single item. And it needs power. Well, we could hook it up to this for power. Let's just do it. Lots of power connections. Ooh, look at that. Even high end, high edge power connections. Go there, there, there. That'll tie it into this whole network here. Just because I want to see at least the manual operation of this, uh, the manual f filling of this, and then in you know later we can uh, automate it. Uh, when we have automated farming and things, otherwise till then it's not that great. I don't think. Uh, so let's do. A few of these pumps over here. Probably on this long edge just so that I can make them all interconnected easily. And uh, those were what? Pumps. Wait, what's liquid distribution mean? Drinking well, tap, and sprinkler. Okay, well, we know all those. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, automated pump. Let's do like four of those. Uh, you'll of course need power, but you'll of course also need pipes. I'm going to do T's here. Just for sanity's sake. Uh, and then this, it'll go this way. This one will be here. That one will be there. And then we can just do straights from there. Uh, sanity's sake, meaning that I could put a fifth one here if I felt like it. 
later. Uh, you need power, you need power, and you need power. So let's get all that going. Let's do... Do we start there? Why the heck not? Start with four of them. Let's see how we need to do for connections here. Uh, we just need one here for sure. And then here and here. And here and here. There and there, there and there, and there. I'm going to connect these two across here. And then we also need power over here. Um, let's do... Like that, like this, and like this. And that'll connect power through this and this to automate the barrel filling of the water. Uh, as long as we don't need a pump here, which we might. Uh, I don't know if that's too high for these to for these pumps to push up or not. That was part of the message from the developer in the comments for the last video, I think. But I again, I don't really, I'm not really following what it is. So if anybody has a comment about how what it is, then that's then I appreciate any uh, help with that. Because I'm not sure what that means. But he did say that. These are used to get to to get up levels uh, when you can't otherwise do. Um, we're still a little bit in the drought over here. We're also producing slightly more water than we're using. Which is good. I would rather be in that situation. Although we don't have the other two turned on yet, but still, we're producing slightly more than we're using. Okay, it's going to take them a little while to get that going. Uh, did you guys pick up this? You did. And then you put it back down again. Um, pick, pick that up. No, I don't want to put on that belt. It's blocking the belts. And there's ten of it in there. All right, Samantha Foxy, come on over. I don't know whether she will put it all. Be able to put it all in the forge or not. We have to do this. We have to move this a little bit. Maybe put it into a storage temporarily or something. Um, like one of these. What did you just... Oh, you're picking up the crap from the dismantling. Yes, good. Alright, what did she find? And then she threw it on the ground again. So there's... Now seven left. Yep, I'm going to need to temporarily put it into a storage. Uh, copper. Or... Um, do this. And then let's do this. The, um... Oh, I guess they don't look the same. I was going to say, the iron and the copper look kind of the same, but they don't. They look different. And you're just storing that up. And we're actually a little low on power. In the whole network here. This is the whole network now, right? Oh, yes. Okay, we can add some more. That's fine. These I think I will just do like this and then like that. Whoa. You get a no. All right. And they pick.
picked up that copper? They did. So why? Oh, because we have power. Right. Yeah, we have we have all the things here. Uh, and then I will do um, for this. I will hopefully they will hopefully just deliver it, but I'll try and force them to somehow. We're building over here now. Understandable. So we get more power though. We're going to be in a rough spot for a while. This was definitely more trees than I needed. Uh, note for next time. Um, we can definitely handle far fewer trees. And then... Um, probably not even that many plants either. Because, well... We're not even eating that stuff. Uh, how is the cabbage soup going here? Is it going? No, because nobody's delivered anything here. Also, there's no power. Oh, yes, they have. No, they haven't. Wood, water, and cabbage, they haven't delivered any yet. Uh, how's the cabbage soup going here? There's three of them. We have been delivering it, though, so that's good. Uh, we are delivering it. Which means we're just about done with that. Somebody is hopefully making more... Metal pipes, copper pipes. We have plenty of copper ingots, and they need that in coal. Coal. There's not any free coal for them to grab. They're not grabbing the coal out of here, which is interesting. I don't understand why they're not. Maybe I could do pickup? No. I don't really understand why they're not uh, picking up coal, because you would think they would. Alright, and then this, uh, let's do that, and let's get rid of it. If you can. Sign this to none, also. Somebody picked up three. Good. That's all they can pick up for this type of job. But it's interesting that they aren't picking up the coal from these. I don't know if that's intended or not, but... Well, they got the coal for that from somewhere, so maybe they will. Maybe they will. We'll see. I should build a staircase or something up this way, too. Although I might have to build a bridge there to get it to work. Oh, that was you delivering the copper. Okay. Uh, from, But from down here up to there... I just need to decide where I want to put it. Probably here. I don't know if this is going to work or not, though. Let's see if it will. If I do that... Uh, then can I do a bridge? Or some way of getting across there? I guess it probably would have to be a bridge. Yeah, it'll let me do a bridge. Okay, and then I can do a two-height platform here, and a one-height here, and then a bunch of wooden stairs. I could have also just etched some of the stairs as, as uh, soil stairs, but this is kind of fun. A little dangerous, too, uh, in practicality, but hey. Sometimes you gotta, you know, break a few eggs. Alright, so this... Yeah, they're getting coal from some place. They must be picking it up from here, then. Or... It's, there's some laying around that I don't remember laying around. Which could be. Or shred off the belts, maybe? I don't know. Making pipes, that's the important part. Keep making pipes. 
know, you're going to keep making steel. Too. Okay. I suppose I should be belting coal in um, to this machine, of, of all things. Coal should be something that goes in here uh, more slash better. Uh, but that's okay, too. Yeah, they're definitely picking up coal from someplace. What are you standing on? Can I see what you're standing on? Limestone. Oh, we need more wood. I wonder if we have any trees we can chop down. Uh, let's do... Manual cut down and replant, I guess. Or is that... I might be a little confused as to what the difference is there and whether I'm supposed to click the harvest button or not on those. And then how I handle that with this, I guess I handle it with this button. I guess so. Are they going to automatically replant them, though, still? Uh, these are all alive again. That's good. Let's, let's keep an eye on that and see what happens. But we're nearly out of wood, so we need to take care of that. One way or the other. Let's see. So you felled the tree, and you planted one in its case, in its in its place. Okay, good. So can I just do this then? Whether pines are the best ones to do or not, I don't know. But well, I do know because this is nine. That's only five, and this is only three. So maybe pines are the best ones. But I also don't know what the growth time was on it. 600, I'm assuming that's in seconds. This is 350. So that's uh, 70 seconds. Uh, or no, that's 350 seeds. That's not the growth time. 400 seconds of growth time there. 600 there. So 600 yields 9. That's... Eh. 400 yields 5. Yeah. And then this is 300. No, 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 no. Right there. 300 e yields 3. So that's 100 seconds per. These are 60-something seconds per. Um, and these are 80 seconds per. So pines are the most efficient long-term. Um, but if you need a quick bang for your buck, do some birches, I guess. Okay, they are replanting those. So that's good. That's the most important part. Or they're marking them for planted. For planting. All right, cut down some trees. That's good. Did we get all of this copper out of here? Nope. 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 We're waiting for it. How are we doing over here on this construction? We need more stone. Ooh, that could be a problem. Right, we need to build this bridge here for that. Uh, can I do... Uh, I wonder... Well, can I get just right, right there, at least for now? Yeah, let's just do this one right here. Bridge uh, looks like a twofer. No, that's different heights, too. Ugh. Hmm. I mean, it's, it says it's going to let me do it. I just don't know what that's going to work or look like. I guess I could do this and then do... What the... Uh, lower? I guess. And then do a uh, stairs here? I guess. 
I'm a little somethingy on this one, but we'll see how it goes. And then they can build that too. Iffy? I don't know. Words. Alright, we need to get some of that wood up here though. Oh, we are doing it though. We've got water, we've got barrels. Uh, I'm assuming they're getting... Oh, we need engine oil too? What the heck? Oh wait, no, we need water and barrel. There we go. I just had to set the recipe. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Engine oil comes come later. Uh, let's, let's barrel it up. It's a barrel of fun. Should need 10 more cabbage soup. And we're making... We made 10 barrels. Uh, we'll keep making 10 barrels as long as there's not 10 in storage. That's happening here. Uh, although it still thinks there's 10 in storage. Is that because there's 10 in storage here? Yes, there are. Okay. That's fine then. Uh, harvest these two trees too. Goodbye. And they're set to none. So they will not get replanted. I see now. I think I understand. Did you finish this up yet? No. You know what? Screw it. Build the belt here. Give me a reasonably high priority on it, maybe top. And then let's just delete that copper. You can store 600 nuns in there. Like a clown car for nuns. How'd this go? Oh. It went not as bad as I feared. We should ramp this down. Uh, can I do... How do you do the sloped grounds? I want to make it sloped. How do you do sloped ground? I guess you can't? yourself like it only can be part of yeah I guess it has to be only be part of what was originally spawned in which case I think I can just dig some uh, stairs here it will be fine gotta make a little bit more soil available too speaking of soil 18 of it sitting in there Plop. Perfectly logical. Perfectly sane. And then they end up leaving the seeds laying around. Why is the poplar seed job paused? Weird. a couple more of these. We got 103 wood, but they're not putting any of it in here. They're putting it all in here. Which isn't great. But I don't know. There's no way to prioritize storages over the other. Which means that we're not getting any planks made because that. So maybe I have to just say, uh, only pick up from here for a while. And then they'll start putting it in there instead. And they'll take from here to put into there. That's kind of micromanaging and I don't really like it. Yeah, we need planks. Well, they did put some in there anyway. Good. Alright, so we have automated smelting. We may have some power in the network issues here, but we have automated smelting. Uh, we're working on this network here. How does this one look? A little low. This one here? Perfectly fine. This one here? A little low. Um, it needs... Yeah. 
And it hasn't, they haven't finished this one yet either. Your power consumption is 60. It's mostly those then, those pumps. Although we didn't really need this many pumps here, I guess. Probably could have gotten away with one or less. I'm going to do... Um, no, I can't do a priority on that. There is no priority there. Just got to wait for them to do it. Which means give them less other crap to do. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's actually cancel this last one. A bunch of crap left over now, but... Just won't build it. You don't even need the third one here. But that's fine anyway. What are you doing as far as the network goes? Oof. Yeah, we're producing... 179. Which means that we're probably not... providing enough water for the sprinkler system anymore. And they still haven't finished the dam. Because it needs planks and wood, and... Well, I let them get short on those things, I think. Or they can't reach it. They might not be able to reach it. Maybe I need to take this out and put in some more uh, of these. Uh, let's see, I put in a short one there. Short one there. Okay. This. You and you. Oh, maybe I just need to actually step up here. Cancel that. Cancel that. Let's just go up another single here from a staircase here. That'll work better. And then they just walk along the flood, uh, what are those things called? Floodgates uh, to finish the two. Yeah, that's better. Then this, of course, will be underwater, but We'll deal with that later. Or never. One or the other. Okay, so the rain started, and that means that the wind is up because the storm is up, I guess. I think that's the explanation there. And they may never actually get anything in here. It does have a pipe connection, though. That's good. I just, just, just noticed that. It's bell connections on each side, it appears. Or maybe three of them, even. And there, it looks like they connect up at this height. And then output belt is... Oh, there's even a belt input down there. And output belt is up here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if they can actually carry the water without anything. Like, it might have to be piped. How do we force them to carry the barrels faster? I guess just have less jobs for them to do, so they just do that job? Unclear. If I wasn't making them do so many other things, they might get to get that done. Uh, looks like they're probably over here harvesting and planting. Yeah. Oh, I know what we can do. Priorities. Um, oh, dear God. Uh, golems can spawn oh because they repair themselves right uh, who does the carrying supplying I guess that's just it right there trying to change the priority okay so let's put these up here on the golems at least And let's put these down here. Because I don't want them doing that job. Uh, if they don't do a good job at it. Uh, we could put the constructing up here since they seem to like constructing. Not that there's anything to construct anymore. But we can do that. 
And, you know, maybe we want them to, to respawn their own golems rather than having the people do it. That's an interesting thought. I don't know how that works. And we have 12 water. Oh, that's just what? Probably the water here. No. Oh, it's not counting the water there. Interesting. Okay, that's priorities. I've never actually fiddled with that, but that makes logical sense. Funny that uh, Frederico Krakino's lowest priority is sleeping. There's a pipe or two laying here. Hmm. How do we make them deliver the barrels f sooner, faster? What's going on here? Just, you're hitting soil again. All right. That's a potential issue, but what am I going to do? Put limestone in that one. And then you all can pick this piece of junk up here. Putting away resources. They're doing various things. They're not working on the barrels. And I just noticed the time. We've been going for a long time. So what I think we should do here is wrap this up here for now. I think we'll get this done fairly quickly in the uh, in the next episode. Then if, if so, uh, then we can start on the next map in the uh, series that I don't remember, but I assume it includes the automated... Uh, train things that we don't have access to here unless I missed it again. What does the sedimentation machine do, by the way? Produces sand and clay, or sand, clay, and silicon. Hmm. Uh, okay. We'll maybe take a look at those in the next one as well. I haven't really seen any need for those right yet. Unless bricks, right, and glass. We haven't even made bricks and glass yet, so maybe in the next one we'll get we'll get uh, a job for those. Until then, though, uh, we're going to leave this here for now, and uh, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll see if we can get some, uh, get, get the barrels finished, um, and uh, get, get this scenario done with. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all then. Bye for now.